So you're scrolling through Instagram and you see gimbal footage with great composition. You realize that they're using field monitors, but the affordable priced units are well out of your budget. Well today, Frank the DIY gimbal gets quite the upgrade because we're making a field monitor. G'day guys, welcome back to part two of the gimbal mod video series. Now, part one, we made the bracket to hold our G7X camera. We've got awesome uh, results. And in this section, we're gonna be looking at making a screen uh, field monitor, which is hand in hand with the gimbal to be able to get better footage. So get out your notebook and check the description for all the parts and hardware that's been used in today's video and uh, let's get into it. So it was late at night when I had this idea. I started searching through boxes and boxes, just everything that I had in storage to find these parts to make it happen. So we start off with the original Xbox, as this guy outputs via AV. I had this little screen left over from a rear car camera install. So we're gonna wire it into the Xbox, power it from a 12 volt uh, AC to DC converter adapter. And if that works, then that proves the concept of running off of a 12 volt power bank, which would ultimately make this unit portable. So let's see if it works. There we have it. The original Xbox is starting up. So that means that our AV is outputting from the Xbox into the screen. So now we need to make the camera output to the screen. Oh, so here we are, we've got all the parts to make the camera work with this external monitor now through its HDMI output. So we're going to need to convert the signal from a digital HDMI down to an analog AV. That will then feed into the screen and give us a display. Powering it at the moment from the wall with that same AC charge that we use for the Xbox, but ideally we're going to create ourselves a custom cable to do it from the power bank. But we'll just test that the converter works first before we go to all the effort of making that custom power cable. And here we go, the camera is plugged in to the AV converter and outputting to the screen. That's the, that's the monitor of the camera, a live feed. So if we turn it around, we'll have a, a selfie camera so we can use it. To, there we go, you can see me. So that's it, proof of concept, this works. So feel free to pause this frame to have a visual representation of what I just talked about. But for now, we're gonna work on the custom join for the power bank power cable. So go into your garage and get out the following tools. You're going to need some solder to be able to solder the joins of the wires together and a soldering iron to heat that up to join them. You're also gonna need the cables, which entail a USB cable, which we can just cut any one up. So you just need the positive and negative wires from it and a DC in for the monitor, whatever you're trying to power over 12 volts. So get your soldering iron warmed up whilst you get your wire strippers. Strip four cables. You're gonna have the positive and negative from both the USB power end and the DC power end. Once they're both stripped, you can join them together and begin soldering. Now ideally here you'd have your work mat underneath, but I couldn't find mine, so we're just going straight onto the workbench. Once soldered, clean it up with some electrical tape or if you don't have tape, grab some shrink wrap and you can get that professional finish. I just heat it up with the side of the iron and as you can see, it's a very clean result. Well, now it's time to go test out the new cable. Okay, so here's the gimbal in final form. We have it uh, feeding the camera's output by the mini HDMI down to the screen. Now all being powered by this Xiaomi power bank, which will provide the 12 volt and 5 volts required for the motor and the wood converter. So if we spin it around here to look at the converter, we've got the converter here that's being powered, that's coming down. We've also got the uh, HDMI that's being fed through and finally we've got this uh, RCA which is uh, quite bunched up but regardless it uh, feeds the monitor itself. So once the monitor has the feed 
we can then whoop, see exactly what's going on the camera. So I'll just hit record and I want to bring up on the screen exactly what we see. So you can now see that's recording and here we're going to have the output there. So it pretty much just matches it identically. So if I bring this across, you see we've got that smooth gimbal footage coming through. And speaking of that smooth gimbal footage, here we go. So this is some test footage that was used in our music video. Um, you can see we've got the composition lined up. Here we've got this perfect symmetrical uh, alignment, some nice pans. All of this is only doable with that field monitor. You can't get these shots with the screen so it's locked. Also took it off to a car show where I filmed our uh, fitted festival. Got some cool uh, shots here. They shared it on their Insta, which is awesome. And if you're not following me on Insta, well, that's where you find all of these behind the scenes, all these making of videos. So go follow there and you can see all these footage before it makes it to YouTube. And final test, we headed down to the local skate park. Boom, look at that, where some of the guys that are shredding it up. I was able to follow along with the gimbal and my board and uh, get these really cool shots just to prove that you can line it up. And even I jumped back on the board after years of no skating. But look at this footage, my brother filmed it, it's smooth. And it's all courtesy of Frank. Yeah, this, this wiry, ugly gimbal of a dude. But hey, it's custom, cheap, DIY. He's got his rough edges, he's got his wires and dangles, but it does the trick. So let's look at the final enhancements. Frank only requires one USB port on the power bank now for the monitor as the converter has been plugged straight into the gimbal. I purchased a super flexible HDMI cable made for gimbals and that's held in place by this small adhesive clip. That's still plugged into the HDMI to AV converter and that's double sided tape to the back of the monitor. The monitor is mounted to the gimbal by a custom small rig hot shoe contraption. The AV cable has been shortened greatly by a male to male adapter. And well, that's our boy Frank. But what about the negatives? Well, there's only really one, and that is that I used a reverse car camera monitor, which isn't made for color accuracy or any crazy viewing angles. Tilting it back, you can see the contrast is increased. It goes very dark, and tilting it forwards, it brightens up. So trying to nail your exposure on your camera with this monitor is not ideal. What you want to get your hands on is something like this Fieldworld Master MA6P. Now this is a IPS panel monitor, so it's made for that color accuracy with tilting, so it's not going to throw your exposure off for your shots. Now bear in mind there's a lot of glare in the studio right now, but on a side by side you can see there's a big difference, especially with the vertical tilt. Okay, so what has the future got in store for old mate Frank here? We've got, you know, G7X mounted, we've got ourselves a custom field monitor, We've got power for days, we're ready to go. Well, unfortunately he's been uh, decommissioned. Although I can still use it, it looks good. You guys look great. You, you look great in this little field monitor. Um, unfortunately, we've done an upgrade. Well, it's not really unfortunate. It's kind of a benefit for the channel, just unfortunate for old mate here. So he's gonna be sold off because, boom. We uh, we've upgraded something, a piece of kit here in the studio. Piece of uh, tech that, eh, ooh. You have, to, you have to subscribe to find out what's coming up. It's gonna be sick. We've got uh, got some industry grade. I don't know if it's industry grade. We've just got a board fit for purpose. So this was a proof of concept, as you wish. Um, seeing if I liked gimbals, if I wanted to use them uh, for my videos, can I get benefits from having one? And the answer is yes, I can. And uh, field monitors are really handy, but the color shift on this is just just kills it for me. So. That's what happened with him. We've now upgraded to a, a real deal gimbal that's made to hold our cameras. Unfortunately, it can't hold the new black magic, so we'll have to also upgrade to another gimbal so we can just imagine another one's here. That would be good, it would save me buying one. Either way, I'll uh, see you in the next vid. Make sure you click like on this video, drop a comment. Let me know if you liked it. If you had any questions, I'm here to answer. I'll be typing away and I'll see you then. All right, thanks for watching. There's gonna be some more videos coming up there and there. So click on them, give them a watch. If you wanna see some uh, gimbal footage of Bruce in a future video, leave a comment below or give this video a thumbs up. And um, yeah, we'll do that. Looks like he's wants to play as well. All right, see ya.
Ja, das ist 